Hi, I'm Maki Wright. About 70 years ago, a manga magazine was launched that included a section for manga created by readers. And young manga fans across the country competed to have their manga selected. Through that, many manga artists honed their skills, exchanged ideas with fellow creators, and eventually gathered in a wooden apartment building in Toshima World, Tokyo, called Tokiwa So. In 1953, Tezuka Osamu, who gave birth to Astro Boy, moved into the apartment. Subsequently, other young manga artists began gathering here and spent their early days. This time in Channel Japan, we'll be exploring Tokyo's Toshima Ward, a neighborhood that gave rise to numerous well-known creators of manga, and said, is said to be the birthplace of the manga anime culture today. Tokiwaso is an apartment building in Toshima Ward, Tokyo, where many so-called masters of manga spent their early days. The original apartment was torn down about 40 years ago because of its aging structure, but this summer it was recreated as the Tokiwaso Manga Museum. So I am with Kanako Kitayama, who will be showing us around today. Nice to meet you. What do you exhibit here? On the first floor, we show the works of artists connected to Tokiwaso as well as materials related to manga. And seasonally, we also set up special exhibits. On the second floor, we've recreated the living spaces of Tokiwaso at the time. Let me take you up. Have a look. What's this? This is a common kitchen. The rooms don't have individual kitchens, so everyone would cook their food here. This is a recreation of that. I see, there are several cookers. The walls were apparently very thin. This is a recreation of a room where Yamauchi George, who was an assistant to Ishinomori Shotaro, did his work. Mr. Yamauchi himself actually described to us how the room looked and we placed the items as they were at the time. How do you plan to develop this museum in the future? We want to tell people around the world about how the now famous Tezuka Osamu and other great artists drew manga in these small four and a half tatami mat sized rooms and worked hard to realize their dreams. That's what we hope to do. Also, people in this area are very happy that this museum was built, so we want to involve them and hold events. Our wish is that many people visit us. Thank you for today. You're welcome. You're watching Channel Japan. If you come from the main road in this neighborhood and turn into Tokiwaso Street, there's a place called Tokiwaso Street Rest Area. On the first floor, where signatures of manga artists are on display, various items related to the Tokiwaso Manga Museum are on sale. The exhibition space on the second floor recreates the room of Terada Hiro, who was considered a leader of the Tokiwaso group. This is pretty impressive. The shelves are stacked with manga. This facility is called Tokiwaso Manga Station, and you can read 6,000 manga, including works by artists who once gathered at Tokiwaso, for free. That's all for this edition of Channel Japan. Hope you enjoyed it.